if you want something out of life, if you want to change yourself, if you want to acquire something, if there's some goal that you want to reach, that is really not easy as some people will make us feel. I wish I had not waited 14 years. Somebody said, if you want to lose something, lose money. You can get that back. Eight out of 10 millionaires have been financially bankrupt. Walt Disney filed bankruptcy seven times and had two nervous breakdowns. But don't lose time. The only thing that's going to make you happy, my friend, and this year or any other, is to step up. It's to raise the standard. It's to discover what you're capable of and feel that incredible power of pushing through whatever's holding you back and get to the other side of more of your true self. That's what this game's all about. When you step into your fears and continue to push yourself to go on, something happens for you. If you look at somebody who's really successful, you think, wow, I mean, they're, they're so amazing. They're such a genius. You gotta dig underneath and you gotta remember something. People are rewarded in public for what they've practiced for years in private. If you don't develop the courage to do that which has been given you to do, and you spend a lot of time going around trying to convince other people or trying to get their approval, what will happen is that you will lose your nerve and other people will convince you that what you're doing doesn't have any value and you'll give up on your dream. How much time do you have left? How much time do you have left? When you start thinking about that, we don't know. Most of us don't use the stuff that we have brought into the universe. Stop wasting valuable time. If you want something, you have got to be relentless. You've got to learn how to become resourceful. You've got to learn how to become creative. Power. To hold on in spite of everything. The power to endure. This is the winner's quality. 14 years I sat on the sideline. 14 years I said, I don't have an investor in me like Tony Robbins. 14 years it said, I don't have an MBA or a PhD and, and I can't compete with these guys. I have the complexion of rejection. 14 years I silenced myself. Wow. And so I regret that because there's some people that maybe if they'd heard my voice, they would not have turned to drugs. If they'd heard my voice, their lives would have taken a different direction. And I can't get those 14 years back. That haunts me. And made, I think that drives me when I speak with such energy. I'm, I'm trying to make up for that time. What this power is, I cannot say. All I know is that it exists and it becomes available only when a man or a woman is in that state of mind in which he or she knows exactly what he or she wants and is fully determined not to quit until they find it. There's greatness in you and you've got to learn how to tune out the critics outside and the critic inside. And since I'm going to do this, I'm going to harness my will and I'm not going to let anything stop me. I deserve this. Most people won't do that. Most people give up on themselves easily. You know the human spirit is powerful? There's nothing as powerful. It's hard to kill the human spirit. To live your life with passion. With some drive. Decide that you're going to push yourself. You've got to focus on you. And as you convince you, as you sell yourself every day, every day, every day, you will begin to see a difference in the things that you're doing. Selling yourself on your ability to perform a job, to achieve a certain objective, telling yourself every day, here I go again, and I got what it takes. This is my day, and nothing out here is going to stop me. What you want for you, and I think that when we begin to focus in the area of what does it take for us to act, I think we can say events can inspire us to act at that particular event in his life. Circumstances. A friend of mine, he wanted to do something and, and he 
just did not have the motivation and the drive and the confidence within himself, but his circumstances changed overnight through an acquisition of the company that he worked for. He lost his job through the inspiration of desperation. He had to act. See, life, also are things that can inspire us that. See, we don't have the courage, and that's what it takes, courage. It takes guts to do that which you know you need to do. If you don't have the courage to act, life many times will move on you and make you act. Life will whoop your butt so bad. You will be so miserable, you will catch so much hell, you say yes. I will do it. What do you want me to do? Take me. And many people go through life never getting in touch with their greatness because of the lack of motivation to push themselves or because they have not found something that they believe to be worthwhile to challenge them. But many a talented persons have gone unnoticed and the world never had a chance to be exposed to their talent. Because that person did not take the time to begin to express or to demonstrate or to motivate themselves in the direction to bring that which they came into the universe to bring. Many people will leave the universe without a trace. No one will know they were here. And in fact, under their name, we could put under their not used up. Will anybody know that you came this way? What contribution are you giving? What will you leave? What will be different? Because you came this way. That life is our gift to us. That God has given us. And how we live our lives is our gift to God. What kind of gift are you formulating? Is this a gift that you like to take back and do something else before you turn it in? Think about that. What can we do? What are some of the keys? that we can begin to use to motivate ourselves when our batteries run low. Because I don't care who you are, I don't care what you do, at some time you are going to get tired. At some time you're going to get in a rut, it seems like nothing you do works out right. At some times it just seems like you just don't have the wherewithal or the will to do anything. That sometimes you act like you're punch drunk, you're just wading through life, just doing time, day in and day out, looking at non-discriminatory television, anything that's on, just looking, and depressed, feeling powerless, feeling useless, and bored. What do you do? How do you get yourself out of a rut? How do you, when you know you can do more than what you've been doing, and you're not doing it, and you're discontent with where you are, you get angry at yourself. How do you get out of that rut? How do you motivate yourself? One of the things that we must do is that we must be involved in working on achieving self-mastery. You must work on yourself continuously. Never be satisfied with yourself. Always know that as you invest the effort and time on you, that's the greatest ability that human beings have above animals. See, a dog can be anything but a dog. A tree can be anything but a tree. Human being, you've got unlimited potential. You can put effort on you, and by concentrating on you and developing you, you can transform your life wherever you are right now. So you want to work on yourself. You want to read books that inspire you and motivate you. You want to listen to tapes over and over and over again. And I suggest that you listen to tapes when you first get up in the morning. You want to control the spirit of your day. When you first wake up in the morning, your mind is operating at 10.5 wave cycles per second. When you decide acting in your best interest, you're going to lose some friends. Everybody's not going to approve of you. There's some people that won't like you. Who do you think you are? You're arrogant. What do you think you can do? So you want to be involved in developing yourself. Most people won't do that. Most people won't take that kind of effort and invest that kind of energy in themselves. Because they will fall prey to that conversation within. Oh, don't do that. You don't have time. You're too busy. You're too caught up in the rat race. Most people won't do that. Well, they won't take time to go to lectures. They won't take time to go to seminars. They won't take time to, to go to classes to improve themselves. And as you continue to work on yourself, you will begin to expand your vision of yourself. You begin to work towards self-mastery. 
and you will begin to see it reflect itself in all the dimensions of your life, your mental life, your physical life, your social life, in your relationships, your monetary life. So concentrate on developing yourself. Because if you don't, I guarantee you that you will make a settlement. And most people have. And most of us already have. What kind of settlement have you made with your life?